the Manitoba School Crisis. In 1870, the Manitoba Act gave guarantees to French and English-speaking people, making it bilingual. There were many English and Protestant immigrants in the 1880s, which prompted the government to change laws. The new laws included things like French no longer being an official language, and the government stopped supporting and funding Roman Catholic schools. Wilfred Laurier, who had a French and Catholic background, opposed because he wanted to be Prime Minister. If he supported, French would view him as a traitor, but if he opposed, he would lose English votes. Laurier made a compromise. If elected, he would not restore government support for separate schools, pass a law allowing French instructions in schools with at least 10 children needing it, and allow religious instructions for children at the end of the day. The government withdrew its bill and called election. The Laurier-Greenway Compromise The laws would be changed along the lines of Laurier's original solution. People like the Anglophones and Francophones would get some of what they wanted. Not everyone agreed with the compromise, but since he found a way to make everybody somewhat happy, he remained Prime Minister for 15 years and impacted Canada so greatly.